Hey, it's me, Shinobi Nando. You know, that guy, I do that. The what's in the box thing where I like break down what you're gonna get, where you're gonna get it from, how much it's gonna cost you, where's the best deal. Maybe, maybe we can score yourself a few extras. Hey guys, welcome back to another What's in the Box. Today we're doing Oddworld Soulstorm. While exclusive to the PS5 and PS4, there's actually a couple of editions that you can pick up, including the ever infamous Day One edition, but don't worry, I will show you where to get it, how much it's gonna cost you, if it's gonna cost you any extra. Also, there's a pretty cool collector's edition which we're gonna break down in this video. So if you enjoy this kind of content or you find it helpful, maybe you're a fellow collector yourself, maybe you just like my hat, whatever. Give me a subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know what I'm going to do my next unboxing, review, or what's in the box. There's not too many editions for this game, so let's break down the standard and the day one edition. For pre-ordering the game, you will get the digital soundtrack and digital art book done by Pix and Love. For getting the day one edition, you'll also get this steel book, which is embossed. For those of you who want the physical art book, you can pick this up directly from Pix and Love's own online store. This is the same art book that comes available with the collector's edition, which we'll break down later in the video. Here in the UK, you can pick this up at Game, Smith, Amazon. In the US and Canada, you can pick this up at Best Buy, Amazon, and GameStop. And in Australia and New Zealand, you can pick this up at EB Games. You gotta love when like a day one edition outshines some limited editions. This is like a perfect example. Not only do you get a plethora of extra DLC for free. I say for free because, you know, I'm perfectly aware that some places you have to place down a deposit to pre-order. But even if you order online, you're gonna get these. So if you're excited for the game, yeah. In fact, I know some limited editions that don't even do still books. I've, I've done unboxings for them before. I'm always baffled. So it's good to see that this game gets one. Other than that, there's not too much to talk about. So let's move on to the collector's edition. The collector's edition features this unique collector's box, a mining company keychain, a nine inch Abe figurine, the game with the day one embossed metal steel book, three art prints, Abe's hand tattoo and tribal stickers, and also the previously mentioned art book by Pix and Love, which features 160 pages of concept art from the developers. Here in the UK, you can grab the collector's edition at Game, Smiths and Amazon. And in the US, you can pick this up at Amazon and GameStop. For those of you internationally, you can also get this from the Pix and Love store, but you're gonna have to act fast if you want one of their limited signed collector's editions featured here. So that's the collector's edition of the game. It's pretty cool. There's actually loads in there, including a statue, steel book, art book, you name it. It has it, the tribal tattoos and, and stickers. That's pretty cool. I've never really been a fan of Oddworld. If I'm perfectly honest, I played like the old one on like the original Xbox and the 2D platformer whose, whose name ex escapes me. But if you're like an old school fan or really, really into this series for whatever your reason, then definitely take a look at this collector's edition. Like, who am I to, to judge you, really? I'm not judging you. I'm just saying, who am I to judge you? Look at... Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget, every collector's edition's worth is subjective, but this one is not badly priced. You get a ton packed in. It, it, it does sometimes uh, amuse me that sometimes the kind of, like, quote-unquote cheaper or smaller collector's editions tend to come with the most stuff. Had the same deal with Sekiro, the Shadows Die Twice Collector's Edition. That was quite cheap, but there was loads packed into it. Almost as much as some of the more expensive Collector's Editions. That's always good to see because as collectors, we, we spend a lot of money. So more buying for your buck, the better. Guys, that is my thoughts and opinions on the standard day one and Collector's Edition for Oddworld Soulstorm. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below if you found this video helpful. If I give you any new information you weren't aware of please give this video a thumbs up and as always subscribe because I'm going to do more skits, more unboxings, more what's in the box and reviews. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video. The reason why I'm wearing a hat is because I shaved my hair. I made a mistake. What can I say?